2020YZ125X. Let's take it for a spin and see how it feels. Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Earth Iron. Today we have a 2020YZ125X which is the first year when uh, Yamaha came out with 125X. Up till now for many years Yamaha only had 125 straight motocross model. And actually this 125X is not uh, far away from the motocross bike but they still spend quite a lot of time tuning this bike without doing any major changes. They tuned this bike to be more uh, off-road uh, ready, trail ready, GNCC uh, machine. But I'm gonna show you uh, how they really changed uh, power delivery, the power curve on this bike. If you see there is a 125X uh, pulls harder from the bottom, it goes a little bit better than 125. Then they meet at a certain point and after that point the hit on 125 motocross bike is harder than the hit on 125X. So this power should suit more off-road riding. The hit on when it comes on the pipe is not as uh, as big as 125 and I think it's also a good point, uh, good uh, you know power for beginners. Oh, this stock fork is so good. So compared to 125 motocross model, there is a little bit of tuning down into the engine. The head is a little bit different, different shape of dome, and also the, the compression ratio is, is slightly different. And then also your carburetor setting is uh, specific for a XC, right? There is a little bit of different timing in an ECU for this bike compared to 125. And KYB suspension also is tuned specifically for off-road riding, so it will be a little bit more plush uh, on the faster trails. You will be able to eat up uh, many, you know, small hits. Then it also comes with 18-inch rear wheel and the fuel valve you can turn into reserve position and on position, which is different than your YZ125X. And there are two things that are additional on this bike, and that's your kickstand and also the O-ring chain. <laughs> Once the bike is on a pipe, <laughs> you have tendency, you want to keep it there, which is fun, but at the same time, keep 125 on a pipe all the time, you are going fast. So I found myself uh, today running into a couple sketchy situations because I was on a pipe. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see this. Uh, slow first second gear section let's see if the bottom power of this 125x would be sufficient how much do i have to clutch it and what rpm i should keep second gear third gear second third okay let's shift to first second the second on the bottom it's not too bad. You know, this is the this is the tra trail where you need to do those little blips on the throttle. You cannot really stay in one one throttle for a long time. So actually, yeah, it's not bad, but you definitely definitely have to be on it. You have to clutch it. This is not hydraulic clutch, but 
it has a really nice pull. One finger, no problem. Maybe if I do it all day, then I'll get tired, but for now, it's not bad. The first gear, second gear, you can make it. But I need to stay a little bit in high RPM and clutch it. So this bike, this bike doesn't forgive a lot. You need to be on it. You need to be focused and dedicated. If you want to make some hill or some uh, steep section, some technical section, you need to be on it. It's kind of fun. So just imagine that you learn to ride on, on this kind of bike. It doesn't get you into trouble easily. That's the good stuff. It is light, very easy to maneuver. And then it uh, it really pushes you to work. To be on it, to be active, do the clutch work. Another difficult section is coming. First gear. Yeah, first gear, you know, a little bit of a clutch there, and it was fine. So the the fact that this thing is so light, so nimble, and it pushes you to work, really, you can, if you take break like five seconds, you might not be able to make that hill or that climb or whatever you are going to do. So just imagine that you are a beginner and you're learning on bike like this. Oh, the skills you can learn, dedication, you know, and uh, uh, you can pick up when you have this bike. There is no room for resting, no room for just cruising around. If you want to make it, you need to be on it. So this bike will make you a really good rider. So And then for beginners, really so much uh, beginner friendly. Uh, I love I love this thing. And the suspension, I cannot tell you how good that thing feels. It's really good, even though I'm heavy, 200 pounds, but it feels really good. Nimble, brakes are good. Yeah, it's just a fun bike. All right, my friends, so these are my initial thoughts about this uh, 2020 YZ125X, which I think is a really fun bike. This is one word that I keep saying that this is a really fun bike with uh, how light it is, the, the power, and then you really need to be on it. It keeps you, you know, on your, on your toes and you need to really be dedicated to that riding. I think I'm going to have a lot of good time on this bike. So uh, you can expect we're going to take it to the track. We're going to take it to more trails. We're going to do some uh, comparison with uh, 250 FX and all kinds of different things that i have planned for this bike so drop the comments below if you have any question about this bike we can maybe address that in the next videos and also if you ride this bike or if you ride 125 motocross bike let us know below in the comments what is it that you like about the bike what is it maybe that you miss on the bike and uh, what is it that would you would like uh, us to cover here on this channel while we have these bikes all right my friends i think that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later